Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sirisha Singh. I am a consultant dermatologist and cosmetic dermatologist. Uh, we are going to do a chat on workup uh, for people with hair loss. Uh, very often people ask me, Doctor, I have hair fall, please give me something for it. Unfortunately, it is not as simple as that. Everyone has a different reason for hair fall and in some, unfortunately, there is no reason for the hair fall at all. So if you have hair fall, it is important to see a dermatologist or a trichologist first to figure out why you are having hair loss and if the hair loss that you are suffering from is significant. So when you see a dermatologist or trichologist, uh, the first thing that is going to happen is the dermatologist is going to take a detailed history from you. Uh, a detailed history would include uh, the time from which you have been having the hair loss, the extent to which you have been noticing the hair loss, if the hair loss happens during particular times of the year as opposed to having it all through the year. They will also ask you about your dietary history, whether you are vegetarian, non-vegetarian, how healthy your diet is, about any stress in your life which could be mental stress or psychological stress or even physical stress like uh, an illness or pregnancy which has happened in the recent past. They would also take a family history from you to see if your parents or grandparents or siblings have had any hair loss. All this history is taken to figure out what could be the potential cause for hair loss in your case. The history is usually followed up by an examination. In the examination, the doctor will examine your scalp under a magnifying light. Uh, what happens during this examination is the doctor sees whether or not there is thinning of hair on the scalp. If there is thinning of hair on the scalp, they will also isolate those parts of the scalp where you have thinning of the hair. In women, it is most common to have thinning of the hair right on the top of the head. And what is commonly observed is that the partition, the midline parting of the hair that tends to become broad and there is a decreased density of hair on the crown or the top of the head whereas on the back and the sides of the head usually there is no thinning of the hair. In men the common pattern of hair loss that is seen is there is some degree of thinning of the hair and the hairline recedes in the temple areas. And there is also some thinning of the hair right in the back, uh, what is commonly called the moon of the scalp. And then this area of hair loss gradually widens and they become joined up to give a more severe degree of hair loss. Uh, the doctor will also see if uh, this is not the pattern of hair loss that is uh, existent in your case. If instead your hair is completely normal but you have small small patches of hair loss in the size of coins all over your scalp, in which case the treatment becomes completely different. Uh, the doctor may also do a hair pull test for you in which what happens is you rub your, run your hands through your, uh, uh, through your hair uh, with the fingers clutching the hair tightly to examine how many hairs are, uh, are, uh, are easily dislodged from your scalp skin when you do this. These hairs which are then dislodged from your scalp skin are examined by the doctor to see if these hairs are telogen hairs which are hairs which are normally shed or they are anagen hairs which are hairs which were not to be shed but have been dislodged easily. If you have anagen hair loss then that becomes a completely different issue and needs to look, be looked into in greater details. Whereas if these hairs are telogen hair or resting phase or sleeping phase hairs then that is completely normal and it is to be expected. Usually in the hair pull test it is normal to have up to 5 hairs. But if it is more than that, for example, if there is 15 or 20 hairs which are dislodged on running your fingers to the scalp, then that becomes significant and it needs to be looked into. Uh, the examination may be followed up by some blood tests. Uh, very commonly, we do a routine blood test which includes your hemoglobin levels, iron studies, particularly in women because iron deficiency is extremely common, uh, thyroid imbalance, liver disease or kidney disease if uh, one suspects that there may be an underlying problem. Uh, very often in women and especially in young girls we also do a hormonal profile because polycystic ovary disease is becoming increasingly common and it's a very common cause for hair fall in young girls. Uh, once the doctor has your detailed history, uh, the examination findings and the blood results the doctor usually puts in all these factors together and comes to a reasonable diagnosis which would then aid in treatment in your individual case. If you have any further queries on the workup that you need to have for your hair fall, please feel free to contact me. My contact details are given in the description box below. Thank you.